Aloha. Your favorite friend with questionable character, Aloha, Mr. Hand. Coming to you on this fine, lovely Tuesday morning, courtesy of our friends at From the 108. And powered by Jack Daniels. I'll have some later. Got to go work for the man after this. So the White Sox acquire Lance Lynn for Dane Dunning and Avery Weems. I like the deal. I like the deal because this is a win now deal. Yes, you can argue about, you know, Dane Dunning, five years of control, six years of control versus one year of control for Lance Lynn and everything else. But this fits what the White Sox want to do from two different perspectives. A, win now. Lance Lynn would have looked pretty nice starting game three in Oakland, don't you agree? And B, the White Sox did not want long-term pitching commitments. They wanted short-term pitching commitments one year, which what does Lance Lynn have? One year. Why? Because they feel, this is my opinion, that they have a pitching staff that they can use, they could fill with Kopech, you know, it would basically be Giolito, Keuchel, Kopech, Cease, someone like Lambert, someone like Crochet, uh, who am I for? Stever. That's, that is their projected future starting rotation. Now, will it work or not? That's, that's a different question, but that's what they are targeting because it is a cheap alternative to paying someone like a Trevor Bauer big money, pitch, big pitching dollars. Because we know that the White Sox do not like giving out big dollar pitching contracts for extended years, which seems to be the trend going forward in MLB. So this deal makes sense from how they want to do business. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying it's the right way to do business. I'm saying it's the way they want to do business. Make sure you understand that. So, with that being said, this deal makes sense. You know, Avery Weems is a guy who the 108 podcast talked about a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm sure Beef Loaf is not happy that he's gone. Sorry, Beef. It's the way it is. And Dunning, I mean, where does Dunning slot, in all honesty, in a rotation on a contending team? He's probably a four or five. I like the guy personally. I do. But... Let's be realistic. He'd be like a four or five on a, a contending rotation in most cases. I think he could be more, but I think not no. So I like the deal. I think it, it, I, I agree that it was a pretty hefty price to pay for the deal. But this is the kind of deal you make when your window is open and you're going for it. And again, they are going for it. That's what the Larusa sent. That's what the Larusa hire told us. So, hope everyone is doing well. Have a great day. Hopefully, I'll be talking to you again later today because there's another announcement where they get a right fielder, and I'll say this: think short term deal in right field too. One year. Think about it. More so, think about a trade for a right fielder. Chris <coughs> Bryant. One year. So, hope everyone's doing well. Talk to you later. Bang.